issue is L short for Danielle or L tall for Danielle, depending on how you're looking at it. Okay, where are all my cis people at? Everyone who's cisgender, can you raise your hand? I just want to see all of you. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, I had some gender affirming surgery last year, and not one of you asked about it. So pat yourselves on the back. You did a really, really good job. But that's actually too good of a job because I really want to gush to someone about it. So now you have to hear about it. I'm yeah. Really so I had an orchiectomy, which is chopping my nuts off. And like that guy in the back totally gets it. He's like, uh, what do you mean? Um, <laughs> I left two wicked scars in my abdomen. Anytime someone asks about them, I tell them that I had a C-section. And if they look confused, I explained that it was twins, duh. <laughs> After getting the Yorkie, though, my doctor warned me that I'm no longer allowed to make jokes about getting kicked in the balls. So there goes this part of the set. Um, so to fill space, I have a hot take on trans bathroom bills, actually. Look, I accidentally clogged the women's toilet at work, so I get it. Dainty female toilets just can't handle biologically overwhelming trans women. That's just basic science, right? It gets worse, actually. As a trans woman, I can't wear jewelry designed for cis women. A friend gave me her leather bracelet. Nope, I snapped it in half. She gave me a metal one. Somehow it shattered. Like, the problem isn't that trans women are strong. It's that we're actually superhumanly strong. Like, estrogen is magic after all. Speaking of magic, uh, something that's going to cause a lot of people to lose a bet. I finally finished my PhD. After, thank you, thank you. After four years of struggle and stress, I'm finally free. And what's the very first thing I do after finishing? I make a checklist of other things that I want to do. So like Jackie, check box. This was on the list. Uh, but now I can unleash my research on the world a startup name generator for tech bros. You know, an underserved demographic. So, we're gonna play a quick little game. I'm gonna give you uh, a pair of names. One of those names is a company name for my generator, and one is a real startup name that is just as stupid. And you're gonna tell me which one is the real one. Okay, let's start. Uh, the first pair is Earth Hooter versus Earth Benign, in case you're feeling eco-conscious. Any guesses? Earth, Earth, Earth Benign. Earth benign. Oh, the audience is mixed. The real one is actually Earth Benign, though I doubt they ever did anything nice for the planet. Okay, next one. Mix Wit versus Fiend Social. I'm not sure which network is better, but they both sound better than Facebook. Any thoughts? Fiend Social. Fiend Social people think it's real. No, Mix Wit is actually real, although I would love a demonic social network. Okay, yeah. one more, one more. Uh, Fuel, spelled with two L's, like my name, uh, versus, and listen carefully, Fuss trusting, fuss trusting, no comment. Fuss trusting is real. It's actually fuel with two L's. But if you're at the point of fuss trusting someone, I feel like you might as well just get married already. Like I've been married for 12 years. My wife is amazing. Small tip, it doesn't matter how big or small your wedding is. It will consume your entire life. It is an insatiable beast. It cannot be stopped. Only when you are broken and crying in the corner do you experience true matrimonial joy. And that reminds me, I have what some may consider unorthodox transition goals. A lot of people want their own fairy tale wedding. Me? I want to be a bridesmaid at your wedding. I'll wear a gorgeous dress, totally overshadowing you, and I will ruin the whole event because Trans women are just too biologically hot to be bridesmaids. Okay, thank you. Good night.